Hey, what's up guys, it's Mookie Lord here, and today we're gonna to cover yet again another independent studio who's pretty much designing a game that looks pretty badass. It caught my attention about a month or two ago, and ever since then I wanted to follow up on it and pretty much expose it to you guys just in case you don't even know that this game even exists. I think that's what's important when it comes to uh, supporting independent game developers is when you're a game developer and you're going independent the hardest thing is is promotion advertisement and making sure that people even know that you exist so i wanted to take it upon myself and my platform to pretty much try to help bolster and bring more eyes to these projects that you may find some interest in so the name of this project is called spine and it looks pretty badass but before we even dive into this video make sure to the subscribe button the notification bell for more gaming content here on this channel so let us dive right into it so first we're going to go over a couple things because um there's uh some information that's out there not a lot but there's enough for us to go off of and what we can expect as far as the sum of the story and also the release date and also with the combat and the gameplay mechanics and how it works um for this particular title so we're going to dive right into it uh first we go to pc games and i'm not going to read the whole thing it's just that reading this is just to give you an idea of what you can expect from it because man looking at the action um to it is just ridiculous man the gunplay especially if you into like what they call gung fu um from movies especially if you ever see equilibrium starring christian bell one of my favorite movies of all time um, that's really got me into the whole gist of the whole gung fu idea and to actually see it in a video game and how dynamic it is with the gunplay I think it's really really cool so it says when is the uh, when is the spine release date if you're a fan of John Woo films that mix kung fu um, with pistols then it's likely that spy is on your on your wish list in the cyberpunk dystopian streets the tensor ai has taken over the city and is behind the authority power via drones to suppress rebellions spine puts us in the role of redline who has a vendetta against the ai and its ruling elite and will stop at nothing to make them pay gung fu fans will likely have to wait a long time to play spine though which is a shame since it has appealing cyberpunk game aesthetics the story based action adventure promises a tense movie like experience and i will give it that yes it does have that movie like experience and like i said before it's what you can do with the environment and in the, the tricks and the stunts that you can do with the gunplay and how acrobatic your character is i think this is pr that's pretty cool so it also says that takes advantage of choreography and camera technique that said this is the first non-mobile project from oh so they've done stuff like that in the past uh was it uh cypriot um developer nikai uh or neki and it's far from the only game it has revealed in the recent months with that in mind here's everything we know about spine release date and trailer so we can expect that spine will release sometime in 2026 at the earliest the gameplay trailer is the first we've seen of spine in two years so this got oh, so this game has been development in quite some time um or whatever so we talk we talking about 2022 that the game was first announced and i think there's pretty much a, a lot of alpha footage that's out there which um that showed off some of the things that they that you know gamers can expect from their gameplay and everything but what i really wanted to show is if you guys are interested you can actually go to their website and see everything here um and you can subscribe you can add them to your wish list and you can also talk to them on discord and it says experience gun food like never before with spine a fast-paced action game set in a cyberpunk world and it says innovative combat a thrilling fusion of cinematic gameplay and beat them up and then crippling narrative explore the realistic uh, visions of a near future with a rebellious street artist um artist redline and her sentient combat implant spine as they challenge an autocratic ai regime and as i said before I love like ind independent developers going out to try something um, different or something, I guess, unique in a sense. Now, there's people saying that it's definitely the combat is comparable to what you would see in the Arkham games and, and I guess you would say the Spider-Man games, which I can see some similarities to it. But the fact is that we haven't had a gun-fu game. I'm talking about a gun-fu game 
and plus we add in the gung fu with the cyberpunk which is something that i i mean i could be wrong i haven't seen um on console or anything like that you're taking the cyberpunk genre and then you mixing it with gung fu i think that's going to be pretty pretty cool whatever like that and of course we also have now we have a female protagonist um and i i'm looking forward to see what her, what she's all about what's her narrative her backstory and um, what's her part in fighting against this ai regime and cutting edge technology and graphics and the one thing about that is graphics when it comes to cyberpunk especially about since i played cyberpunk 2020 uh 2077 oh my god the graphics to that game is fucking beautiful so i don't expect anything less from what i've seen so far when i've seen some from some of the gameplay footage and the trailers and some of the things that have been posted from um the, the twitter page itself the graphics is looking pretty good for it to be early on so i can only imagine what it's going to look like um once it's finished and what really got me is an expansive franchise so it looks like they're trying to really really take this serious and what i mean by expansive franchise you can dive into the spine universe beyond the games with an array of um, coming content games dlc web comics board games and merchandise so apparently they're really trying to take this serious and i like to see when there's other ways to flesh out the lore flesh out the ip because not everybody likes to play games or not everybody wants to play games some people are readers so people be able to read to be able to get into the universe some people do like to play board games and went and that's their way of be able to have some part a uh, way to partake in the universe itself so to me seeing that this is going to have some expansive mediums or medias it shows that these guys really want to go in with this so me being an independent uh comic book company myself i'm definitely would like to look into this um comic that you know these guys are going to pretty much essentially work on or have as a web comic to just look at it and stuff like that and read it um to pretty much dwell into the universe that they're trying to establish here but the most important thing that i really wanted to show is that they recently have a question and answer so we get a bit of insight and knowledge of what we can expect from spying itself these these people are motivated and i believe that this company um neki is a russian company i could be wrong put it in the comment section below um to let me know so yeah it seems like these these guys are definitely uh want to really really uh make sure that people understand what this game is and what they can expect from it when they get their hands on it and experience it for themselves said so, but we slayed the hottest ones and addressed them to spine producer was it dimitri um Piminoff? i hope i said it right i never get these rights um so the first question says can we expect um red line voice lines or is she a silent protagonist and that's all i definitely wanted to, wanted to know too um as i seen the trailer and stuff like that i'd seen more of her in action than than more so um interacting and stuff so this is a good question um absolutely since we initially agreed to treat our action game as a real blockbuster movie makes sense the voice acting for the main character holds immense importance for us currently we're uh actively casting an actress for the role so if you're a voice actor and everything uh definitely check them out if you try if you are interested in getting into some voice work on a video game so if if you're interested in that stuff definitely go go talk to them I uh, said, um, will we be, will we be able to customize or have more outfits? Because as you see, you see that you know, uh, Redline and her character, um, she has like you know, like pretty much red and purple, and even her hair is black and red and stuff, and that's her default look. So people are, especially when you have Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is about um, aesthetics. It is about you know, changing up your your body and stuff like that. So. I want i'm curious to see if <laughs> if that's possible so yes it says yes definitely stay tuned for more updates so yes you'll be able to customize her the way that you want to customize her so i'm interested to see what outfits she, she's going to have or uh, whatever i think her basic costume is a i guess to give you an idea what type of character she is but you can also customize her similar to how eve has so many different outfits and stuff like that i wonder if they, will they take that approach especially with with cyberpunk there's so much more you can do with that um as well so does the ai that help helps redline have any other use other than the narrative purpose and the answer is the city um, where everything unfolds is governed by the agi called tensor and redline has her own sentient ai combat assistant spine the theme of ai human interaction lies at the core of our narrative as designers we believe that if you want to tell a story in the game use everything that the game can afford for that so expect spine to work on all levels narrative gameplay and the ability progression system of the main character 
So, are there multiple play playable characters? That's another good question. I would definitely like to know that. So we're highly focused on a narrative uh, uh, of the tale of Redline. She's the character we've always wanted to tell a story about. Char charismatic, venturous, with with a act now, think later approach. So that's gonna be interesting. So uh, act now, think later. I can imagine the amount of the kind of trouble that she gonna probably put herself in for jumping in and thinking about it later. So I, I can't wait to see how that narrative is gonna um, uh, pull itself off. However, we created the spine universe. So we'll be able to tell more stories of various characters across different timelines. So like I said, this is an expansive um, universe that they're trying to build. So. Yes, they're in it for the long haul, and, I, and they really want to take this serious, so it'll be interesting to see how all this link up when we find out about other characters and where will, when, like, where will it fit in their comprehensive timeline. This is stuff that I'm interested in because me being an independent you know, comic book creator myself and just creating my own universe, expansive universe and stuff like that, it's just, it just does something and inspires me when I see stuff like this. So it says, will Shiva still be able uh, still be in this single player version of Spine, and if so, uh, what will her role, uh, what will her roles, uh, role since Redline is now the protagonist? Uh, will Mickey and the others from the comic make an appearance in the game too? So I'm definitely to check out the comic. I'm definitely to check that out. Uh, you'll definitely meet some uh, familiar characters as the story unfolds. It will be an is it it will be an open world game. The style with fighting and gunshots reminds me uh, of me of Oni, an old PC game that I love. Now, Oni was also a game that released on, on the PC, and that was made by Bungie back in the day. It was, it was also released on the PS2 at launch, um, Oni. And also, if you go to their Twitter, they also said that Oni is their inspiration as well. It's it's great that many people remember Oni, which is one of the inspirations to us. No, we won't have an open world, which is good. Everything doesn't need to be an open world. That's good, I'm tired of open worlds. I think open worlds, when done right, they can be fine. But when you have open worlds, man, you always have these like these lifeless worlds, and you, you then you you cram and you pack it with so much filler content and everything, and then it, it strays away and it creates this bad pacing when it comes from side content and the main story plot. So yes, I would love a more semi-open linear like linear experience. I'm fine with that. I just, let me play the game. And just do it that way. I think it's that's perfectly fine. Our focus is on providing our player on um, players with a very intense emotional game with strong storyline. And I think when you have a game that's less of an open world, more confined, but still give you that option to express yourself, I think you better tell a better story because you don't have to worry about all these other elements that they have, which is not watered down by excessive playtime and grind. Exactly. As gamers ourselves, we are tired of lengthy prolonged games and are now seeking more unique gameplay experiences that will make uh, that will be happy um, to deliver. And I agree with that. I think I'm going to make a video about that sometime soon where we start. To, we, I, I'm, I can't. I don't have enough time in the day to put 60 to 100 hours into games. And when I do do that, when I did that with Final Fantasy trilogies or, and, or Xenoblade Chronicles and stuff, that ended up hurting me in the end when I put that much hours because I had to put time away. And I make time for it. I schedule myself when it's games that I'm anticipating. I do schedule myself for certain games. But that also gives me a it, it, it creates a backlog of work that I have to do in other things like YouTube content and my 3D hentai animations that I do for my 3D hentai community and, and also with my comic book company and I put those things off to try to put those hours in or whatever like that and I hate that because I don't have enough time um, in the day to do everything so when games are more like condensed uh, as long as the combat or the gameplay itself is fulfilling to me, I don't care how long the game is. I want to get in and get out. I don't just don't have time. So how much of a focus would a game have on story? Let's put it this way. Spine is focused on action movie feeling of cool combat with guns and camera work. Everything else is pure narrative and storytelling. The story is always crucial for ca uh, capturing that movie feeling as well, especially as we plan on expanding our universe. I hope that's the answer. Um, That's great and very insightful question. Definitely as I agree with that. Um, It says, I'm glad that the people are, are or diving deep into the animations and bringing up these questions. With our previous trailer, we wanted to start off 
collecting more feedback from our games and initiate a dialogue with our community early on. And one of the topics the community has raised is the fluidity of the combat moveset and the responsiveness of the character's controls. We're directly addressing these issues right now and we'll fix them this summer. Redline will become more responsive and agile and the pace of the game will even out and speed up. As for secondary animation, it depends on the character model which we plan to fine tune in the coming months. We're transitioning to update animation skeletons right now. Um, things like this, physics simulations, uh, etc., will be improved all the way until the game's release. So yes, this is a lot of things and stuff um, for this game, and the Steam Deck will be able to uh, uh, be able to test it out on Steam Deck and stuff. So this is essentially Spine. This is another independent game that um, looks really, really promising. It's from, like I said, Neki, I believe, is a Russian studio. I think they've done a good job from what we've seen for this for this to be early on. I think this is very impressive, and I can't wait to see um, more of the gunfu um, gameplay that they have here, especially in the cyberpunk, which we don't really get uh, have enough of that um, going on here in this. Um, and you know, as far as the genre, as far as the games is concerned, some cyberpunk, more of that. I'm definitely definitely sign me up for that. But this is a perfect example, and I keep saying this, right now is a perfect time for independent developers to shine the most. I said it before on my live stream, if you missed it, you can check out my live stream where I talk to you guys about the fact is that uh, we have the problems with Microsoft. We have the problems with what's going on with Sony and how they're handling everything um, in-house and with PlayStation Network and against the PC gamers and stuff. But more importantly, when you see Square Enix and Square Enix talking about they're going to start cutting back on projects and it's going to take a, have longer windows of wait time for their triple a games and a lot of studios are doing this ea everybody you want to start seeing a, a big window of emptiness because the the industry is just it's just inflated as far as budgets are concerned and everything and they have to learn how to they right now trying to figure out how to reduce and cut costs so while we have this big drought here or whatever it's time for independent developers to now step in and it's their time to shine to be able to fill in those gaps and what better time to be an independent developer is right now so if you guys are looking to be independent yourself the perfect time is right now and like i said perfect example of icode uh, icode is made by one person one person one person is working on this one female developer decided to say hey I, I've been inspired by these other games and I want to be able to tell my own story and, and, and pay homage to the, to, the, to the series or these games that inspire me to make this game. And she's done a good job. So there's no excuse. If one person can do it and this person didn't go to college to learn any of this stuff, they learned on their free time. And I want to leave this message to you guys before I close out. It's all about what you do with your free time. Your free time is more important than anything. Or do you want to spend your free time binge watching anime all day and, and, vi and play video games all day or or doing everything that's not going to uh, get you any closer to whatever goals that you have or whatever ambitions that you have. It's all about your free time. You got to utilize your free time as much as possible. Instead of playing video games all day, you need to be taking whatever your passion is and you need to work and fine tune it during these free times. You have to maximize it. Maximize your free time. This is the message that I want to lay to you guys. And that's why I've been practicing more and more, which is why I've been working on my being so writing comics even more and more. And my comic, my first comic book within my expansive universe will be completed this month. I'm super happy um, for that. And I'm in the process of getting my presentations ready for the launch campaign starting around September or October of when the launch you know, campaign will be ready for you guys to be able to see what my world is world has to offer as far as Venus Orion comics is concerned but you can also expect the teaser that's going to prepare you guys um for the launch as well um this summer so going independent to me is the best time and you should really consider it so that pretty much wraps up this video if you like this video hit the like button subscribe button for more gaming content here on this channel this is Mugen Lord signing off I'll see you game fiends later peace out